Meanwhile, those gas prices now above $4 a gallon in all 50 states, and they're expected to go even higher as we enter the busy summer driving season. And Florida's gas prices continue to hit record highs for the Sunshine State as well. In fact, this morning, Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed calling on Governor DeSantis to declare an emergency. And tonight, Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders with how the governor is responding. Marianne Thorner has lived in Florida all her life and seen it all when it comes to gas prices. Yes, I sure have from, you know, 29 cents a gallon. <laughs> but these days, the pump is more painful on the pocketbook. Thorner forced to keep away from the car and conserve costs where possible. I just stay home a lot more, you know, and just look at what necessities really are. Many Floridians face the same new gas price highs almost daily, prompting politicians like Ag Commissioner Nikki Freed to call for action. I'm calling on the governor to issue an emergency declaration. The Democrat and candidate for governor sent her rival this letter saying a declaration frees her to suspend state rules prohibiting gas retailers from selling below cost. She thinks there's interest despite gas stations taking a loss. A lot of retailers, um, actually um, all of their profits come from the convenience stores. We need to be doing everything possible to help lower prices for Floridians in need. The governor's office was quick to condemn the idea, his press secretary calling it delusional, suggesting small businesses could suffer, unable to compete and aggravating the problem. Quote, Freed is trying to leverage this issue for political grandstanding by proposing a policy that does not make sense. The statement also blames the president for hindering domestic fuel production after restricting more Arctic drilling. All right. Meanwhile, the governor recently signed a 25 cent per gallon gas tax cut into law, but critics point out it doesn't take effect until October and lasts only a month. I don't think Florida's government's going to figure it out. Thorner, frustrated by all this back and forth, says she'll just have to hunker down and hope things get better, which might not be anytime soon. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.